Hello. So, in this video, I just want to start by saying big spoiler warning for a lot of One Piece. If you have not started the series One Piece and it's something you think you might want to get into or you just started it, please do not watch this video. You have been warned. Stop the video now. Go f get caught up on One Piece. Then come back. Now, I also want to let you know in full transparency that I only watch the anime. I have not read the manga. So some of these facts that I'm going to be stating were confirmed by... By a good friend of mine who is heavy into the anime and the manga and knows a lot about both. So if you read the title, I think I solved the Will of D. I think I know what it means. I think I know the connection it has and to different people in this franchise. So let's begin. Before I can tell you what I found or what I think solves the Will of D, I have to mention I have a bonus theory that might be true. And my bonus theory is this. I believe that Garp and Roger were brothers born one year apart from each other. I also believe that at some point before their parents died, they learned the truth about the Will of D, which we'll get into what that is. I believe that Garp joined up with the Marines to sort of hide in plain sight. Sort of, how, how do I state this? Um, he was going to work from the inside. And I think that the idea of his brother joining the Marines made Roger so mad that he dropped his last name, kept the D, and joined Pirates. Basically, I think he did this to specifically spite his brother. He worked his way up, became the captain of his own crew, and decided to go seeking the One Piece and become the king of the pirates because his whole plan would have been to be the king of the pirates. I think this was his original plan was to become King of the Pirates and out his brother as a member of the Marines. I think it was a secret that only the two of them knew since Roger changed his name. However, there was a point where Roger and Garp had to work together to bring down a pirate captain that was way out of control named Rox who also had a D in his name. And we'll get a little bit into that later on. So then Roger met Rouge and the two of them had a child or I should say she became pregnant with a child and he was executed. She did the unthinkable, and actually managed to somehow keep from giving birth for 20 months before she finally had her son, Ace, and she died after Ace was born. Now, at the same time this happens, about two years later, I should say, Luffy's father met Luffy's mother. 
Luffy gets born 19 years ago, which leads us to the events that play out. So, here is the entire timeline from where I'm at. Now, as far as I am into the series, I am near the end of Dressrosa. So, I'm going to go through everything I believe, and I'm going to use this timeline to sort of explain. Now, keep in mind that as I explain this timeline, it's under the guise that Garp and Roger are brothers. Okay? So here we go. 800 years ago, Raftal is destroyed. Garp is born 78 years ago. Roger is born 77 years ago. Garp joins the Marine 56 years ago. Then, around the same time, Garp marries unknown wife and future mother of their child. Dragon is born 55 years ago. Now, Dragon, Garp, and Roger all have D's in their name. Roger becomes a pirate 52 years ago. Roger meets Rouge, Porcus D. Rouge, 29 years ago. Gold Roger finds the One Piece 25 years ago and becomes King of the Pirates. Gold Roger gets executed 24 years ago. Dragon starts the Revolutionary Army 23 years ago. Porcus D. Rouge gives birth to Porcus D. Ace 22 years ago. Dragon meets and impregnates Luffy's still unknown mother 20 years ago. Nami is born 20 years ago and found orphaned. I'll, I'll explain why I believe Nami's birth is important to this timeline. Monkey D. Luffy is born 19 years ago. Garp drops Porcus D. Ace at Dawn Island 14 years ago. Monkey D. Luffy meets Shanks 13 years ago and he decides to become a pirate. Monkey D. Garp drops Monkey D. Luffy at Dawn Island 12 years ago. Monkey D. Luffy meets Porcus D. Ace 12 years ago. Monkey D. Luffy sets out to become a pirate 3 years ago. And finally, Porcus D. Ace dies 2 years ago. Now... The reason why I think they're brothers is because, like I said, I think he joined the Marines, started becoming successful, had a family and everything, and Roger was so upset with his brother for what he had done, he wanted to join the Pirates instead of following his brother's footsteps. And Roger kind of ended up forgetting about their feud putting it aside, realizing that they just took their own separate paths. And once Roger found the one piece, he's like, really? It doesn't matter. I don't think he cared at all. He just wanted to know that his son, because he knew his wife was pregnant, he just wanted to know that his son would be safe. And I think that stands in with the part of the Will of D's that I'm going to talk about. So, I believe that there is another connection here. So, Roger's love was Porcus D. Rouge. And I believe 
that she either had an unknown brother or sister who is the parent, the true parent of Nami. Because Nami was found orphaned. Her island had been attacked. The Marines were there. She was found by another little girl. And that little girl took her to one of the Marines. And the Marines left the Marines and raised these two girls on her own. Now, Nami has had some serious fighting abilities. She has this connection with the ocean that has gone unexplained. So I believe that she is part of the Will of D. Just like Luffy, you know, he has his own things. Like the way everybody follows him. Even when he's not using hockey, people yet still follow him. I believe that there is some connections to some of these characters. Like I said, I think Nami's aunt is Ace's mother. I think Roger and Garp were brothers. Now, let's move into what all ties this theory together. What could possibly make this work? And again, as I've been saying, I believe it is the will of D. And I think I know what it is. And this is what I think it is. 800 years ago, when Raftal was destroyed, I believe that several ships made it off the island in secret either before the final battle or during the final battle but I believe some ships made it off got away and the survivors gathered together and had sort of a meeting and said look from this point forward we can't stay together we're an easy target. If anybody finds out, we'll be killed. So we need to each go our own way. We need to separate. But they didn't want to completely abandon the fact that they were out there. They wanted there to be a way they knew they belonged, that they were from Raftal. And so what I think happened is from that day forward, everybody who made it off the island carried a D for their middle name. And the D stood for descendant. That they were a true descendant of Raftal. And I think this was a family secret that was handed down through the generations. Now, it's possible that Nami's parents were survivors, but not connected to Porcus de Rouge. But I think there's another thing about Raftal, and I think it's that, you know, most of the time, there are two children born into the timeline. Provided the couple stay together. And so when Garp and Roger were almost adults, I believe their parents said, here's the truth. The reason you both have a D in your name is because our family are descendants of the last people of Raftal before the world government destroyed everything. And I believe that Garp told Dragon, and he hated the fact that his father had actually joined the Marines to work on destroying the Marines from the inside, but still hadn't done anything to really stop it. 
all these years that he had been devoting his life, I believe he became angry that his father did nothing to stop the world government. And he didn't want to be a pirate like his uncle. Because I'm sure Garp would have told Dragon that Roger was actually his brother. And I think that that was information that was withheld from Ace. And it was withheld from Luffy. In the final chapters or the final battles, I believe somebody will reveal this information to Luffy. Revealing the truth about Raftal, the Will of D being... Because if you look at it, it's called the Will of D. As in, you are willing it down to the next generation. They are carrying on this legacy. And the legacy is simply to have a D in your name. So you know you are a descendant of this island. I've always, every time I've heard about it, people have talked about it, it's been about, it's given me that feeling of Atlantis. So, these could be the descendants of that island. The last remaining survivors. The true heirs to the One Piece. So, that is my theory. And like I said, I consulted with a friend of mine, his name is Anime Senpai. I have a video where he's watched horror movies. I've talked about him on this channel a few times. There will be a link to his channel below if you want to hear some of his thoughts on One Piece. But I'm really interested to hear what you guys all think. I'd be interested to know. Do you think this is a possibility? Could Garp and Roger truly have been actual brothers that had a big argument and split off. So much to the point where Roger hated sharing a name with his brother. And dropped Monkey and took up Goal. And the, do you think that the will of D could be as simple as descendants? The descendants of Raftal. That's my theory. I think I solved it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So please, if you are a fan of One Piece, comment with your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear from you and get a conversation going. But this has just been my theory and anime theory. And if you have not, please subscribe to this channel for more theories and ideas rankings and so much more so subscribe make sure to click the notification bell and i will talk to you next time